All right, welcome to uh, Roden Schwartz. My name is uh, Phil Parente. I'm one of the uh, EMC sales specialists uh, here at Roden Schwartz Americas. Uh, today we have our uh, ESW receivers. Uh, the ESW uh, comes in an eight gigahertz, a 26 gigahertz, and a 44 gigahertz uh, uh, frequency. And today here we have the ESW 44. Uh, today we're going to show uh, making EMI uh, compliance measurements and setting up a scan uh, using our time domain scan capability. Uh, so the ESW is easy to use. It ha offers the touchscreen display. I'll hit a stop scan here. Uh, we have this test automation tab. Allows us to open up uh, a test automation to quickly and easily set up your EMI scan. Uh, once we hit here a scan, we can identify specific subranges uh, that you use for uh, different resolution bandwidth filters, measurement times, and uh, the transducers that you have for each specific uh, range, uh, test. So I will also make note that this is a CISPR 16 compliant receiver, which allows us to uh, also take advantages of time domain scan. Time domain scan allows us to make uh, very, very fast EMI scans. It opens up a, a wideband IF to, to allow us to reduce the test times uh, for EMI scan. So we'll go back to test automation, and what I'll show you is what we use, uh, what traditionally has been used on the step scan approach, which allows us to uh, synchronize your scan and dwell and, and go to the next frequency point. So we'll turn on here a step scan. I'll hit a run single, and you'll see that the EMI receiver is going to start its acquisition, which is very, very slow, and traditionally how it's been done in the past. I'll stop scan, go back to test automation, turn on time domain scan, and run single, and it's all done. So we did a conducted scan from 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz in less than one second. In fact, the whatever measurement time that you have will be the time that it takes to process. Uh, so it does, it does that simultaneously, and we have a max peak average and a quasi peak detector uh, all running simultaneously. And so um, I'll go here to this next station here. Uh, this is the ESW44, and we're going to show it in a different light. Uh, the ESW is a spectrum analyzer, an EMI receiver, and also a real-time spectrum analyzer. In the configuration we have shown here today, uh, we're doing a real-time spectrum analyzer. So when we have problems that come through with the uh, scan, if there are some suspects, uh, some emissions, one thing to do is to use real-time spectrum analysis. Real-time spectrum analysis allows us to diagnose some of the problems that you might be having. Um, it's more of an EMI di uh, di uh, di diagnostic capability, so when we have something here, we can see it. In this case here, I'll start running the display here. Um, we have a span of 80 megahertz, and you can see that this is a pulsating pulse. We have occurrences of the pulses happening and then not happening, uh, so it's pulsating on and off. Um, I had to run single, so it stops. Uh, and the lower section here is a waterfall display. It allows us to kind of see how often this pulse is occurring and the time in between each pulse. Um, and we can see here that the space is in between each of these pulses. So if you turn on your markers and it'll see, see, what type, see the, the delta time in between them, that allows us to have the minimum measurement time. So when you're doing your EMI scan, which I showed before, allows us to properly measure the EMI uh, measurement time for that subrange. So it shows us a good way to do a compliance measurement and also some EMI diagnostics uh, using the ESW at Roden Schwartz.